All right, my dude. Wiggle minnow time. Got a one aught B10S. And I got my little tube here, my little cylinder. And I've cut it at a 45 degree angle. And then on the bottom, because you want the water to hit it and push it down, I've cut it a little more than halfway through. That's what I've learned. This kind of works best because you're, you're going to want it to be on the hook like this, right? So make it a little more. Um, put that on there. The tip here, the trick is put this piece on first and then you can bend it around the hook. And that looks like that's going to work great for now. All right? Okay. Set that aside. Let's get some thread on here. I'm using your favorite Vivas. I couldn't find any Danville, so I had to order Vivas, which is fine. All right, I kind of come down around the hook a little bit and put a little ball of thread. All right. So for the tail, you can make the tail out of almost anything. Um, EP fiber, whatever. I just like to use bucktail. I, I use the junk end. I'll make that about a hook shank length. Um, keep it on top. Bring that down. Flare it a little bit. Now this one I think is going to be okay, but if if it's trying to go down on you, you can always put some wraps under here and stick it up. That's kind of the way the ones you buy at the store are, but I don't do that. And I'm going to put some uh, holographic flash in there. I like the flashier the better, just on the tail in terms of flash. Because the thing you fished them, they, they're hauling ass through the water. I'm not trying to make a imitation bait here. You know, do your normal flash beeswax. Get that on there. And do it on the side and then kind of fold it over. That thing goes all over the place when it's going through the water, so it looks good. Cool. I'm gonna kind of crank down on this because I don't want it spinning on me. I'll put some uh, liquid super glue on there here in a second. All right, bring that back up so you kind of have the open spiral wraps. You're done with the tying part. Just kind of do a little whip finish or whatever you want to do there. Because this is all gonna be glue. You know, I've tried to make them weedless before when you're fishing around stuff. It just doesn't work. So they're cheap, they're quick, they're fast. So I don't really bother with it too much. I'll put a little liquid super glue on that bucktail just to hold it in there. All right. So I've tried every which way and struggle getting this on once you put the glue on, right? So what I've kind of been resorting to is doing it a piece at a time. Now you may have better luck, and I've, I have another video where I just did it because I hadn't done these in a while. Um, and dude, it's a nightmare trying to get it all down on there. So what I do is I put a little glue and this is gel. And now, stuff sets up on this foam super fast. Oh, shit, I missed it. All right, so, get that on there. Just kind of hold it. Look at that, it's already set up, right? You can see 
if I can focus that. That's too short. But I've got that on there pretty good. Now, come around here, pull your tail out. This is where kind of doing the loops under it helps out a little bit. If you see that, see how it's at that angle? That one to focus because I touched it. There we go. See how it's doing that angle? We're doing good. And now take some of this gel super glue and just squirt you a good chunk in there and push that up and pull that tail down and pinch it. Look at that, it's already done, it's already set up. All right, now the middle part, if you have some hook showing, it's gonna be okay, uh, it just doesn't look good. So you can kind of come in, push that middle down, and then come in with a little bit of your super glue and really kind of push and hold. Something I've learned with my aquarium stuff, I've used super glue to on corals and things. The super glue sets up super fast when it's damp, so do some heavy breathing on it. Yeah, baby. Just make sure you haven't eaten Funyuns or Doritos or something. <laughs> um, there's a little spot right here I want to fill in with some super glue. See that little probably can't because everything's white and just pinch that there and essentially you're done like that's gonna fish I mean that's that's the wiggle minnow um, eyes what I do because I don't have any eyes with me and just spare some time here but what I'll do is I'll put my eyes on with the gel super glue I just put a little dot Punk, and I'll put that eye on, do a little dot, put that eye on. Um, and then I'll take um, some of my UV gel and I'll coat it. But something that, you know, yours was falling apart the other day and I realized, cause that was one where I cut it wrong and I had to glue it at the top. But what you can do now if that super glue is done, I like thick um, UV gel and you can run along that seam particularly if it's kind of like this one where a little bit of that hook is showing through and take a toothpick or a bodkin or something and smooth that all along that seam. Kind of work it out. And then hit that thing with your light. Don't look at the light. Because that light will reflect it back pretty bad. So don't stare at it. All right, done. Man, that heats up real fast, too. All right. That thing's pretty much bulletproof now. Another thing you could possibly do is coat that front with some UV. And I'll just give that front a, a little bit. I've got some flex UV um, that sometimes works. Or uh, whenever I, I um, paint these, you know, if I want to make them, like, you can do a clear top. I mean, a black a gray top, like if I wanted this thing to, uh, you know, be a, get this gray marker. I'm gonna turn this thing into a shad real fast. I'm not wanting to focus, but yeah. See how I've turned that into a shad real fast? Um, do that for your eyes and then this stuff is awesome this loon soft head it's almost just like a rubber cement and you paint it on here and it'll help you keep your uh, your eyes on too you paint it on there and then when that's done it's like a very flexible um, like epoxy right so it's like it'll protect the color it'll protect those eyes and actually protects the foam I don't know if you saw my wiggle minnow I was using the other day after all those bass hit it. This foam starts like getting pocked up and stuff. But if you get this soft head, um, it'll do that. And I use this soft head a lot too on popper bodies. If you're doing the frog with the foam popper body and you 
you've airbrushed or you've colored it, you've done something cool, paint that on there and then it doesn't crack like UV or super glue or anything like that. It's, it's real flexible but tough. So what do you mean, man? That is the good old wiggle minnow. I'm glad you're a believer in it now. So go wiggle, Brad.